Krishna. So what is Bhakti? What is Bhakti? <coughs> there are two things. There are two aspects of Bhakti. One is the inner remembrance of Krishna and one is outer service. We remember Krishna and we serve Krishna. These are the two things. That's the definition of Bhakti. So how do I how do I develop that inner remembrance of Krishna? Because if I remember Krishna, if I do bhakti, then I can be happy. And we want to be happy. So how to increase the inner remembrance? By hearing and chanting. When we hear about Krishna, when we chant the holy names, then the inner remembrance for Krishna increases. See, what happens when we hear about Krishna, basically we are inviting Krishna into our heart. By hearing about Krishna, we are spiritualizing our intelligence. See, the problem is with our intelligence. Our intelligence is corrupt. Our intelligence is material. And that, you know, gets more corrupted and allows Maya to come in and disturbs our Krishna conscious life. So, but when we hear, when we hear, then the intelligence becomes spiritual. See, many years ago, the Chinese people, they constructed the Great Wall of China to save themselves from the Mongolians and any other people who attacked them. So, they made a huge wall, maybe 1000 kilometers, huge big wall. And I heard that that's the only thing you can see from the space, it seems. Such a big wall they constructed. But within 100 years of constructing that wall, three times they were attacked. How they were attacked? Did somebody break the wall? No. Wall is intact, perfect. They simply bribed the security guard and they opened the door and went inside. So simply bribed the security guard. So this is what Maya will do. It will simply bribe our intelligence. And when our intelligence is bribed, then we will allow Maya to come inside. So that is why this material intelligence has to be spiritualized. So how to spiritualize this intelligence is by hearing. When we hear Srimad Bhagavatam, when we hear Bhagavad Gita, when we hear from devotees continuously, continuously, then the intelligence becomes spiritualized. Now when the Maya tries to come and bribe, it will say, sorry, gate is closed. No entry for you. Right? Chanting. When we chant the holy name, the whole point is we have to somehow manage our mind. Otherwise, mind will cause trouble. Mind is like... Um, Mind is like a genie, you know. In childhood, I heard this story, <clears throat> how there was this one boy is going to the school. So on his way, he has to pass through some forest. So once he sees a small copper coin lying in the ground. So he just takes the copper coin and rubs it. Oh, what is this? Let me see. The moment he rubs it, a genie comes out. Hey, I am your, you know, you are my master. Whatever you say, I'll do it. I'm a genie. So this boy says, okay, bring the school here, construct a big school here, construct a house here, do this, do that. Now genie is very quick. Within a minute, he's doing everything. So now next, what should I do? Next, what should I do? Now the boy is, you know, he's out of, what, what else should I say? I got everything. Okay, give me food. Okay, give me clothes. Give me this, give me that. So the genie says, if you don't give me instruction, I'll eat you up. You have to go on giving me instruction. Now the boy was tired. Whatever he asked, within a minute, he's doing it. But this boy was very intelligent. So he told genie, okay, you see this big tree here? So you go up above the tree and when you go right above, come down. And when you come right down below, then you go up. And then you go up, then you come down. Then you come down, then you go up. You keep doing it till I give you another instruction. So now the genie got very busy. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. Same problem is there with our mind. The mind will say, you know, mind needs some work. Otherwise the mind will eat us up. Okay. So what mind should be done? Mind should be given work. What is that work? You give the mala. Chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Go down, complete 108. It's over. Again, start from beginning. Go down, complete 108. Again, start from beginning. Now what happened? Mind is busy. The mind is busy in chanting. Intelligence is busy in hearing. Who remained? Mind, ego and intelligence? Now the false ego. What do we do with false ego? What is the second thing I said? Bhakti means two aspects, inner remembrance and outer service. Now, associate with devotees and do service in a humble attitude. That will take care of your false ego. Finished. Three, three people taken care, mind, ego and intelligence. When they are taken care, 
we are happy they are the three people who create trouble for us right so when we start associating with devotees we don't offend them don't criticize them in a humble attitude serve with the devotees serve whom serve vaishnavas serve krishna then we are happy so bhakti means two things inner remembrance and outer service and if we can do these two things then we are happy because happiness comes out of bhakti very simple sab krishna 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 lage sab krishna 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 lage sab krishna